Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. We have some very, very exciting news. As you can see on my screen, there are some new images in Design Space. This is something that we in the UK have been waiting for for such a long time. So licensed images are coming to Design Space for the UK. I want to scream from the rooftops, I really do. Now this is going to be a gradual process, we're not getting everything at once and we may not even get everything. We may get bits from one, we may get bits from another, we may only get bits from one license. This is definitely going to be a gradual process but very exciting, we have four new licensed image sets which are going to be available in the UK and they are all Harry Potter. If you don't know, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter, it's my all time favourite. The books are just amazing. I still read them to this day. I actually am currently listening to Chamber of Secrets in audiobook. I love the audiobook. Stephen Fry is amazing. Anyway, I digress. I love Harry Potter, as a lot of people love Harry Potter. So for our first UK licensed images, to get Harry Potter is just fantastic. So these are available now at this moment. So if you're in the UK, so that's England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, you will be able to access these four image sets. So they're priced at £1.99 an image. Now the image sets are going to be different prices depending on the amount of images in a set. We currently don't have the price for those at the time of me filming this video. We won't actually know the prices of those until it goes live so I will put them in the description below but each individual image is going to be £1.99. Now there are a few ways in which you can find the images. So first of all, we're going to go to images and nice and easy in the image search, we're just going to type Harry Potter. Now this will bring you up the images and as you can see, there are quite a few of them. In fact, there's 110 in total, which is pretty good for a starting point. And there are some lovely ones in here. But as I say, these images are part of four image sets. So there's two ways in which you can find the image sets. The first is just to select an image that you like. And if you come up to the three dots on that image, you'll see it says view image set. So that will take me to the image set for that image. So in this case, it's the Harry Potter icon set and there's actually 14 images in that image set. The other way to find all the image sets is again to go to images where it says category, select all images and it will bring you to a screen like this. Under highlighted categories, you'll see image sets. If we click that and then search Harry Potter, it will then bring up those four image sets which are available to us. So the first one is artifacts. There are 30 images in this one. So this is artifacts, there are 30 images in here. These are all cut images, although you could of course draw or foil with them, you could engrave with them, uh, you could even deboss with them, but just be aware because they are set to cut images, you will get those double lines. We've got icons, which as we saw has got 14 images. Again, these are all set to cut, but you could draw or foil or engrave with them or deboss. You will get a double line. You could even create a print and cut with them if you wanted to. We've then got spells and icons. This has got 17 images in it. Again, some of these are really lovely and some of these would look really nice as a print and cut with maybe a pattern fill, especially some of these kind of thicker ones that have got more filled in areas. 
And the great thing about them being a cut as well is that you can create layers with them. So when we go back into my canvas in a minute, you'll see I've created some layers out of these, which is great for iron on or vinyl, even infusible ink. And then lastly, we have House Pride, which has got 48 images in it. And again, some of these are really lovely. This Quidditch one, I think, is beautiful and would work on a whole host of items. So lots and lots of images in these four sets. And of course, you could create your own kind of thing using them. So you could take, for example, the Gryffindor icon and then you could add your own text to it. So you can really build on these, which is something that I really like. I've just done some mock-ups here. So I've got a cushion case using one of the images. I've got some mugs. So nice and easy to do a layered infusible ink on a mug. I've got a card here. I could use so many different materials to create a card. And I've got a coaster. Again, I could layer infusible ink. These images are really lovely. There'll be something in here for everyone. Not all the images are going to be for everyone. And if you're not a Harry Potter fan, then they're probably not for you. But if you are a Harry Potter fan, there's some lovely images in here which are well worth looking at. This is just a starting point. We have been told that there is some very exciting things on the horizon. This is the starting point. I am very, very excited. We have waited a long time for this. It is going to be a long road. We're not going to get everything all at once, but fingers crossed, we start to see more licensed images coming in for the UK because it does make it very exciting for us. I can't wait to see what you all think of these. Please leave comments below. If you've got any questions, you can leave them below. As I say, once I have the price for the actual image sets, I will put them in the description. At the moment, we only have individual image prices, which are set at £1.99. And of course, if you're an Access member, you get a 10% discount on that. So don't forget that. But yes exciting for a Monday morning in January. What a fantastic way to start the new year. Cannot wait to see what else is coming our way. As always, thank you so much for joining. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!